Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Terry Bears World bringing you another video from Call of Duty Black Ops. This time we're in search and destroy mode, which is uh, just like the good old Counter-Strike. Basically, when you die, you have to wait till the end of the round um, before you can respawn and the next round starts. Alright, so let's begin. Destroyed objectives. Now in this video I'll try and um, talk about decision making and picking your spots carefully deciding what you do not rushing into anything that's the first enemy kinda mess up my aim so he gets to live now run search and destroy that means I don't wanna die I can't respawn so I take it slow this is a good vantage point you see that can cover the middle of the map from here. Bomb acquired. My guys are trying to plant the bomb at B, but I'm still waiting here in the middle, trying to pick off any stray dogs that might come from behind. There's one. There's two. Oh, you also might notice um, the. Bomb acquired game detail level is on the absolute max at the moment. I went and get a, got a new graphics card. It's a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 460. I also got a new set of headphones. Um, they are the Sennheiser PC 360 game. The graphics card was about 250 bucks, 250 dollars. Uh, the headphones are also in the range of about 250 dollars. I can recommend both to you graphics card is working quite well and the headphones are just phenomenal so um, I went ahead I know that I am one-on-one -on -one. so I got the bomb and made my way to the other bomb spot now I'm not sure where the guy is at at the moment I don't know but uh, I have to go for it Time so I plant up. the bomb and the bomb's been planted. let me pause here real quick I need the controls here, alright. So, I don't know where the other guy is at. What do you do? The bomb is here. You know that the guy is most likely not here in, in this general area because uh, he would have shot you while planting. So, there's basically, whoops, okay, you can't fly through walls here. Two options where he can come from. From this direction, or he can come from somewhere here. So what do I do? I go back, check this area, and then I go here. Now, why do I do that? I know that he most likely isn't here anywhere. So, I take the spot that will cover this exit and that exit here. So if he comes through here, Bang! He'll die. Same goes for this. Although I probably should stand a little bit more back. Okay. If he comes from behind and goes like this, I hear him when he starts defusing. Let's go back in first person mode and see how it develops. And there. I had movement. A little rattle. Let me just rewind quickly. Listen. Oh, that was too far. Give it a few seconds. Now. You heard it? Two steps, that's all. Goodbye. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. So, as I already said, um, be careful and pick your spots. Search and destroy. Yeah, think destroy about what you're doing. Bomb acquired. And hello, the first cheater flame of today. Nice wall hack. Yeah, I got a great wall hack. It's called a brain, moron. Oh, actually I should... No. Nope, I'm not going to apologize to this guy because he's already in Prestige 1. 
and he'll be in prestige too soon. So um, he should know. He should know better. He really should know better. But um, well, I guess there are some guys that just don't learn anything by playing this game. These shots were just to uh, test my lag. Because uh, sometimes you get uh, little screen freezes when you shoot for the very first time. Alright, so still I'm hanging back. Know that my guys are at point A at the moment. If you have a look at the radar, everything is concentrating on point A. There's a guy sprinting towards A, so I'll pick him off in a second. But I know that um, any enemies that are straying uh, uh, around uh, will come from point B, most likely. Enemy so, down. he's down. And back to cover. Immediately back to cover, so that you don't get spotted right away. You see the guy shooting up from um, the crow's nest up there. Don't really kill him, so switch positions. Don't want to stay for too long in one position, that's not very good. Meaning it's not very healthy to do that. And I see a guy back there. And I got him. Alright. And switch position. Bomb acquired. Bomb has been planted. So, little tactical analysis. Let's look. I'm here at the window. My other guy, if I can manage to fly out the window, my other guys are here. That's a good spot. Especially if someone covers this angle. And we should have another teammate who is um, apparently down in this room. Okay, not the best position to be in. I prefer if he were someplace like this, covering uh, the back way. Okay, but this guy here, he knows what he's doing. That's a good position. Especially if he has someone covering cross. So I look at my radar, I see the guy where he's aiming at, so I go crossfire and there was a guy. Bam. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. Again, watch what your teammates are doing and then do something that benefits that. In this case, going crossfire. Search and destroy. Destroyed up. Yep, yep. I'm already switching Bomb off my wall hack. Sorry about that. Damn, I've got him cheater. I tapped out of the game for a moment there. And posted the good old YouTube 47 kills 2 deaths video. In hopes that he might get some illumination out of this video. Meaning that it's possible to go uh, with high kill streaks. There is nothing to it. It's just using your brain and a little bit of aiming. And well, the game is lagging for me right now. For some reason, Call of Duty keeps lagging if you uh, tap out for a few seconds and then tap back in. And that'll go away after 20 or 30 seconds, but it's very unnerving to play like this. So the bomb's down, and I'm still covering the middle. I managed to pick off this guy. And I know there's one more of my teammates at the bomb. He'll need cover. So I sneak back here and do the good old crossfire thingy. And the bomb goes up. Good job, team. Three zero. Get ready for the next round. So now, um, map positions have switched. 
friendly RC That's the one thing that deployed. really scares me. This little RC XD vehicle creeping up on you, going boom and goodbye kill streak. Oh no, I think this, this RC XD is, is too powerful. Way too powerful for a two or three kills kill streak. Especially since the uh, Predator or Valkyrie missile isn't that powerful anymore. So now I'm trying to do some crossfire. Pick off that guy in the window. SR ready to launch. And I got my SR-71 Our ready. SR in the air. So, real-time updates of all enemy positions. Number one. Goodbye, buddy. Huey would be ready. And watch the minimap. Goodbye, buddy. Q flame. No flames? Still waiting on the flame. Still waiting. Alright. So, the video should be done right now. Okay, um, now I remember. In the next map, he continue calling me names and stuff. Well, you can't help it. Some people just never learn. So, um, well, I hope you got some ideas from this game. I hope that helped you out a little. Um, so, let's just recap. Think about what you're doing. Carefully pick your positions. Watch your teammates. It's a team game. Don't go all on all out Rambo. That doesn't work. You'll die. And you won't benefit your team. Watch what your teammates are doing and try and help them. If they start planting a bomb, go offensively. Attack the enemy. Give them time to plant. If they start defusing a bomb, do the same. Don't stay back in, in Timbuktu or Kazakhstan or whatever. Go ahead, attack the enemy, divert their attention, help your teammates, get the objective done. Alright, so much for now. This is the Terrian Bassbolt signing off. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.